Who's there? It's us from the cleaning company we called yesterday. Oh, okay, hold on a moment. Okay, we just have to clean your house. Okay, come on in. Okay, so <clears throat> the downstairs just needs cleaning first. It's really little hard. T take a little bit, and I'll pay you after you're done. Okay. Okay. Now I'm over here. Let's see what's around the house to take. Oh. There's a state given ID right here. And the social security number too. All this I have right here is everything you need just to steal an identity. A uh, state, uh, some form of a state ID. A driver's license would do you just fine. A uh, credit card is really helpful as they tend to have pretty much most of your information on file or all of it. Usually is long with quite a helpful social security number as well. Um, that will allow them to do just about anything in your name as you need your social security number for like everything in life. So, make sure that you somehow protect your information. Don't keep your social security card in your wallet with you. Um, if you tend to shop online a lot or even at all, you should always do it with something, something secure. And have a firewall built in on your computer, of course, along with some virus protection or malware. Don't open suspicious emails that would usually end up in spam and that say they're from some weird person who gave you an inheritance just don't it's not good it's probably a spam if you get a suspicious message from your bank that that looks like it's from your bank even though it might not be and it asks you to sign in with a link don't don't click the link you can contact your bank which is usually on the back of your card or on the website and you can ask them um, about the email and ask to confirm whether or not it's legit. Lots of um, thieving companies out there will try and steal your information through that. They'll also send you something that says they need to verify your bank information even if it's been a while since since you've been with that bank. They're like, oh, you've been with this bank for like a year or two. We need to verify your bank information. You click that link and then you enter all the information and then it would usually have your credit card, your login, your username and password into the bank. And then, well now they have access to your funds, your, and your account number based off the bank too. Which means they can now use everything with your name. So, just be smart. Don't keep your security number in your wallet. Don't use suspicious emails. And be safe while shopping online.